All right, so this week, these things showed up. These are 90 by 55 millimeter hub motors from Maytech. They cost 60 US dollars uh, plus taxes and shipping. And let me tell you that these things are impressive. They weigh a lot, they're huge, uh, at least when you compare them to these, uh, the other hub motor that I had before, which is from the Elving or the e in i3 or the Acton Blink, or the fake uh, Mini. Uh, they're all the same board, it's just under a different brand name. Um, and you can see pictures uh, of this, the internals of this hub motor, this 70 millimeter hub motor, which is really nice on my Flickr page. So I'm gonna link them in the, in, in the description below. And also I've uh, kind of taken this one apart and um, the internals are also very nice and I like it very much. And the photos are also on the Flickr page, so go check them out. I'm not gonna do a tear down here because it takes a while to get these screws open and just to kind of disassemble everything that really makes sense to do it right now. Um, but the, what I, the, the good thing about this motor is that this is almost water sealed because uh, it uses these sealed bearings um, both of, on both sides. So it's sealed there, it's sealed there. You don't have any holes for kind of cooling, which is uh, very typical for this smaller sized motor. And I assume that if you would be running at high currents, um, uh, at high, high, um, basically, basically power, drawing much power of the, these, uh, they would heat up. Uh, from the experience that I can tell you is that these things, uh, I was running in them at both, both 7S, which is the default, uh, configuration which is around 28 volts I think and I also have a 10s pack which is 36 or 42 volts fully charged and these uh, never got um, hotter than uh, 80 85 degrees Celsius so this thing it's uh, enormous it's it weighs 750 grams so the rated um, kV value is uh, 60 uh, but when I measured the RPMs at the 6S pack that I had here, it was closer to 85, um, basically, volts per, per uh, sorry, 85 uh, RPM per volt. Uh, so you can kind of, based on that figure, you can calculate the max speed of um, unloaded motor uh, for your battery pack. So I haven't done the math myself right now, but uh, it gives a nice kind of figure. So this was $60 and the 70 millimeter option is $40 uh, plus shipping in taxes. And this is crazy cheap. It's pretty much the price of, uh, of just a regular outrider motor. I got them while they were on the promotion with matching uh, front wheels. And I also got the trucks. So uh, here I mounted the everything basically except that one wheel that one motor on this um elving board which is a basically a, like a cruiser size super tiny board uh, that had that 70 70 millimeter uh, motors on them and wheels on them and when you do that it kind of looks uh impressive it's very big the, the wheels are totally um out of proportion of the of, of the board uh, but nevertheless, um, so it came with the trucks. These trucks were, uh, were uh, they cost, when you buy them separately, they cost 80, 80 US dollars, 18, sorry. Uh, 18 US dollars, so both the one that is kind of purpose built for the motor, because uh, you need this, the way that uh, the motor is kind of uh, fixed on the truck, it uses this squared um, fragment uh, and then the, the force that is basically holding it in place is, let me just make sure I don't drop this. So, uh, you just put it on like that. What I didn't like was that these uh, washers were slightly too big, so I, I probably have to get new ones when I can, uh, to actually ride the board, because I don't want to put the, the ones that they supplied. And the threads were, they totally kind of dirty and full with, uh, I don't know what actually, but they were, it's weird. The matching wheels are actually not that matching, uh, at least in, in terms of color. Um, so I don't know if you can see it because this is this weird night light. It's not very light here, but it's a tiny bit, like the color is a, a tiny bit off. 
it's not really matching but uh, they're nice and the trucks decent uh, I'd say for for uh, 90 nine, 18 US dollars so I do like these motors a lot uh, and I look forward to trying them out when it gets sunnier at this side of the globe mm -hmm.